Hello you demi I am Shahzad Ahmed from shekzi.com and welcome in lecture number 8 today we are going to start uh, our a new section which is uh, admin panel so in this uh, in this lecture we are starting uh, how how can you create your uh, login system for your admin panel we have uh, embedded our uh, template inside our project and um, in the in the last lecture you learn how can uh, you create your databases and tables using data grid and uh, in previous lectures you learned how can you break your html content into multiple parts and why you need to break your html code into multiple views or multiple parts so uh, we are starting now so go to your template uh, make sure uh, in the h2 docs i have a e-commerce folder in the e-commerce folder i have assets and here is the admin and you can see on in, in the pages sections examples you have a login page we have downloaded a template because it's hard to create each and everything from scratch so now you have a single file so um, what you need you just need to open this file and copy this code into your login file okay so first of all go to your uh, i'm going to create a method which is login uh, inside our admin controller make sure we have a admin controller and uh, now i'm saying it's working so go to your admin slash login okay it's working so open this login.html file this this file is make sure uh, we have breaked our html code into multiple parts so nav top nav left if you if you have remembered uh, so we have not anything uh, our top navigation bar we don't have a navigation left bar we have a simple page so what you need you just need to copy all this uh, html code inside this so what you need i need to just add a simple i'm saying i'm just adding i'm just loading a simple view which is login make sure go to your admin folder and create a login file so here is views admin i'm creating a file named login so we have created a view login view so what you need you just need to open so assets in the admin go to your pages examples and open your login okay so here is your all html script so copy all script paste this inside the login page make sure how can you add this script so if you have remembered or if you remember that uh, we are loading these information from assets folder so remove this first of all i'm saying load this script from oh sorry not site url from base url and i'm saying assets admin add this file okay so now copy this script and because these are the cdns so you don't need to uh, write base url inside here so in the footer sections you have uh, one file js file second js file third js file and you have a simple script okay so now what you need you need to copy these sections and you need to paste these sections okay fine you can see we are just copying and we are pasting our code because of the time you can manage your time by downloading any template so you can easily create your sections so now go to your admin and login sections you can see we have created uh, our uh, uh, login 
interface uh, in a few minutes uh, because we have downloaded a template so this is the uh, most uh, so this is the advantage of, uh, to download a template uh, before creating uh, that template from scratch okay so now you have changed your script so now you need to send this HTML I'm saying this form I we are going to send this form to for suppose admin and I'm saying check admin okay so I'm saying this is the email name equals to email and name equals to password okay so now go to your admin sections and create function or method okay we are sending email and password from uh, our HTML and now we have we need to receive these two data or elements here I'm saying this input post so this is true I'm saying email okay and I'm saying okay I'm going to create a associative array because we uh, we are going to send these information from our controller to our model so we can easily verify this email and password with our tables which we have created okay what is the table name I'm saying a email so a email is a column name so I'm saying password so this is the password make sure first letter okay a password okay so now I'm saying I'm validating these I'm saying uh, if not empty which email I'm saying if not empty email and not empty password then say echo working otherwise say not working so now I'm saying if the email is empty and password is not empty oh sorry I'm saying if email and password are not empty then say working otherwise not working okay so so now we need to add admin at hotmail.com make sure password is admin and hit the login button so it's saying okay go to your login page and remove these extra things okay so it's working fine so now at hotmail login it's saying working so email and the password working if if the email is fine we are not giving any password uh, okay now it's saying not working at email email and password okay this is the email and this is a password field not the so that's why it's saying pass word okay so now hit the button so it's saying not working so in uh, so you can create uh, like this or I'm saying uh, if the both field is not empty then we need to check from our database so how can we do that uh, first of all we need to send this information which is coming from our con uh, HTML form to our controller so now we need to create our model so we can easily send these information from the model so what you need you just need go to your models create a model make sure I'm creating a class so uh, what is the name of model I'm saying mod admin 
make sure i am saying mod admin so hit the enter button so we have created mod admin first of all set uh, i am saying extends to extends to ci model first of all go to your config set auto load i am setting this model to auto load so we can easily call this method i am saying mod admin okay close auto load files so we have created this model so i'm saying this because we have uh, uh, loaded our model to auto load so that's why uh, we don't need to load before calling the method okay i'm saying this mode admin i'm saying check admin okay i'm saying data so this is the associative array so data i'm saying admin okay i'm saying if the record is not empty first suppose we are checking these data from the database i am saying if the count equals to 1 or equals to 1 uh, then say found otherwise say not found not found okay so now go to your model and create this method because we are calling this method method uh, inside our controller so you need to create this method also uh, inside your model so i'm saying check admin we are sending the associative array from our controller so we have to receive this associative array f, uh, which is coming from our controller to our model so so this is uh, associative array i'm saying this db and i'm saying get where so here is your you can pass associative array here so you don't need to pass array because you also sending the associative array from your controller to your model so just need just provide the associative array so this is the associative array because you are creating the associative array here so this is your controller this is your model so i'm saying return so which table i'm saying admin table okay so go to your page refresh the page so now it's saying nothing so provide the proper credentials login button it's saying a email in where class a email is not exist check your emails so this is it's saying a email is not available means this column is not available so check your database table go to your data grid so you can see we have created a wrong column so right click modified table so you can check the spell you can uh, see we have a email so delete and modify your tables okay so now it's email execute okay so now the column is fine refresh the page it's saying warning count because we are returning the object and we are here we are checking the array so just result array refresh the page okay so now it's saying found first of all provide the wrong password hit the button it's saying not found so you are checking the you have successfully checked your credentials from your database so in the next lecture we are going to create our sessions and we we are going to create uh, um, our uh, login system for our admin panel so for now i think uh, this is enough for you in the next lecture uh, we will continue from this so thank you for watching